double click on Google Chrome, click on apps, and then click on Chrome Web Store. And from there, you should see a search bar. <laughs> bar and type in screen recorder. I'm using the first one right now to screen record so I can't exactly show you how to download it but just click on add to Chrome and it's easy to add it from there. Before downloading some of these apps, I usually read the reviews and see what other people have to say about it. When I opened the app, I clicked on record desktop and then click on entire screen and press share. After that, your whole screen is going to be recorded. And if you'll notice, it's recording right now. So whenever you're done, just press stop recording and press download file. To download fonts, go to Google Chrome and go to the search bar and type in thefont.com. So this is how the page looks and you can just go through and choose whatever font you wanna use. Once you find whatever font that you were looking for, press download. So once you press that, you will notice that it'll show up at the bottom of your screen. So after it's finished downloading, click on it and then double click on the font. pop up and all you have to do is press install. Once it's done installing, that's how you know it's on your computer. Moving on to Mac, the first thing you want to do is go to QuickTime Player. Press File and then press New Screen Recording. When you're done recording, you'll notice there's a stop button on the menu bar. Just press that to stop the recording. Okay, same thing goes for the Mac. To download, um, to download fonts, just go to your Safari and type in thefont.com, find your font, and press download. Once you download your phone, just click on the button at the top that has the down arrow on it. Double click on the folder with the font and then double click on the actual font when the folder opens. Press install font and then a folder should pop up with the rest of your phones that you downloaded and these are all the ones I have so far. <laughs> 